Hello, it's Olimi. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing cylinder head outlet metal pipe from this old rusted one to this brand new one. Because of the location and leaking coolant, I had to remove intake manifold to get access to it. By the look of the rusted metal pipe, it means so much rust still in the engine. Even though I used cleaner and flushed the system many times till the water got clear and refill it with new antifreeze. But when the engine been running with water instead of radiator coolant for a long time, cleaning will be very hot because in this situation we need a harsh chemical for the rust and at the same time safe for gasket and all the pipes so if you have used any radiator coolant cleaner and you think it's good and worth trying let me know in the comment section below so before doing the job make sure to get the same pipe and antifreeze depending on your car's engine coolant capacity and the type of coolant so these pipes are pressed into the cylinder head but because of the rust it's not moving and i have to be gentle as well because the rust made it so thin and it will break in any time. It is my first time taking a pipe from cylinder head. So I had an idea to make a hole on the pipe and wiggle it right to left till it gets loose. And then use a metal bar like this and push it out. The long handle bar and making a hole on the pipe made the job so much easier. I also cleaned the intake valves and showed in my previous video. I will put the video in the description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. After cleaning all the intake valves, I taped 4 holes of the intake so I can wash this part of the engine. Since the intake manifold already been removed, I thought it's a good idea to clean this leaking oil from the old engine cover gasket, which I replaced it a while back. Alright now with everything cleaned and dry, now we're gonna work on installing new pipe. Along with the new metal pipe, I also purchased heater core hose. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the metal pipe in the freezer to shrink it down a bit so it's easier to put it in the cylinder head. With a little bit of WD-40, now I'm gonna hammer it gently with a piece of wood till it stops. Alright, it's the same length in the cylinder head just like the factory one. Now I'm gonna put the new heater core hose back on the engine. With the new heater core hose being installed, now I'm gonna put the hose clamp back with the needle pliers. Alright, we are done here. Next, I wanted to replace intake manifold gasket. They were compressed all the way down and I'm sure it was leaking air from there. So I cleaned it first and then inserted the new gaskets. And here is the new gasket and the old gasket difference. Alright, everything is cleaned up and ready to be mounted on the engine just like we removed it before. With every radiator hose being connected now, now I'm gonna fill the radiator reservoir with new antifreeze. With the radiator cap is open, now I'm gonna start the engine and let the bubbles out as the engine gets to operating temperature. And fill the reservoir up with antifreeze till it stays on the full level on the reservoir. And here is how to take out old rusted cylinder head pipe and replace it with a new one without using any special tool. Alright, that was the last video of 2022. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in 2023.